Hey, this is Cam with Blacktail Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make and inlay these steel C-channel supports for my large slab tables. I first learned about these supports from Canadian Woodworks, this really cool company up in Eastern Canada, and they make their own. Uh, they also sell them too, and these are kind of a pain to make, so if you decide you don't want to make them, uh, they were cool enough to offer a discount to anybody who wants to use this code and buy them directly through them. The only reason I don't buy them directly through Canadian Woodworks is that I generally need odd sizes for my river tables and odd mounting holes because I don't like to drill into the epoxy. So I start out at this uh, steel shop, that's Ram Steel in Salem, Oregon. Got the two inch by one inch by quarter inch wall and got it back to the shop. I'm gonna be making some slotted holes for a quarter inch bolt to go through. So I used a 5 16th bit that I'm gonna be drilling three side by side holes and then uh, connecting them with a die grinder. So this is a pretty old Craftsman drill press, but it has a neat little chart there that shows the appropriate speed for the material you're drilling. Also, I should clarify, I am not a metal worker. This is a woodworker doing metal work, which is probably not always the best thing. So this is just some all-purpose machine oil. And again, I'm just drilling three side-by-side -side holes that I'm gonna connect with a die grinder later. So I have really, really nice woodworking tools, but I have really pretty modest metalworking tools. So just want to show that it doesn't take a super expensive tools to do this project. These are some little carbide die grinder bits I got off of Amazon. I got like five for 20 bucks or something. Uh, they're not the best, but they work pretty well for this. So I'm gonna do you a favor and save you a bunch of time that I wish I would've saved myself and show you how to make the perfect inlay for these. I'm using a quarter inch spiral bit and a 3 8 inch brass router bushing. So all I really had to do is add an eighth of an inch to the overall width of my C channel, which was two inches. Sounds kind of complicated, but all I did was add an eighth of an inch. So two and an eighth inch spacer, two straight pieces of plywood, snug them up, clamped them down, and then removed those two and an eighth inch spacers. You may be wondering why I didn't just use the Festool track to make some straight lines and drop these in. And I tried that before and it's actually a lot harder than it works. If you used a bigger router bit, you could do it, but then you have a bunch of wiggle room in your table and I wanted these to really be pretty snug in there. You don't have to inlay these completely flush, but I decided I wanted to. And so to do that, I just routed out the thickness of that top plate. Just make sure those strips you routed are deep enough for the entire C-channel to fit into. And you may be wondering why I didn't do a better job measuring, and this was actually intentional. You want room for the wood slab to expand and contract, and you don't want it to bind on that steel. So I left about a half inch of room on either side of the C-channel. Now from here, I'll show you how I add the threaded inserts, and I didn't have a lot of footage of this, so I'm gonna show you on some steel table legs. It's the exact same process. I use the same bit that I'm gonna drill my threaded inserts with, and I use that to mark the center line once they're installed. Then I just use an Allen key to th slowly thread them in. I have a little bit of tight bond three on there. Uh, epoxy probably works a little better. And these are the easy lock threaded inserts for softwood. They work really well for hardwood, so don't worry about using them on uh, any, any type of wood, really. And that is the entire process. Uh, I should mention, get the center bolts completely tight and then the outer bolts just snug, so that gives room for it to expand and contract. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if I left anything out, please add them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe for more videos just like it. Thanks again.